Ever wondered how artists create such beautiful and intricate paintings? The secret lies in understanding painting brushes and their strokes. These tools, in the hands of an artist, become the magic wand that breathes life into a blank canvas. Painting brushes and strokes are the keystones of creating art. They're a bit like the artist's language, with different brushes and strokes forming the letters and words that tell a story on canvas. And just like a language, there are different types of painting brushes and strokes, each with their own unique characteristics and effects. A fine liner brush, for instance, allows for delicate, precise lines, while a flat brush can create bold, sweeping strokes. Similarly, a dabbing stroke might be used to create texture, while a gliding stroke can blend colors seamlessly. Understanding how to use painting brushes and strokes can truly elevate your art. So, let's dive deeper and explore these fascinating tools of the trade. Did you know there are various types of painting brushes that artists use? Let's delve into the world of brushes, shall we? First up, we have the flat brush. This type of brush has a flat square tip and is used for filling large areas, sharp edges, and controlling strokes. Next comes the round brush, which has a round and pointed tip. It's perfect for detailed work and controlled washes. Then we have the fan brush, named for its fan-like shape. It's fantastic for blending, smoothing, and creating textural effects. Moving on, we find the filbert brush. With its flat, oval shape, it's a versatile tool used for blending and creating soft, rounded edges. Finally, we have the liner brush, also known as the script brush. This brush has long, thin bristles and is used for delicate fine lines and intricate details. Choosing the right brush can make a big difference in your artwork. Now let's delve into the world of painting strokes. There's a myriad of strokes, each with its unique purpose and effect. First, we have dabbing, a technique that involves applying paint in small amounts to create texture. It's great for rendering foliage or creating an impressionistic effect. Next, there's the stroking technique, the most common stroke. It's as simple as dragging your brush across the canvas, yet it can produce a multitude of effects depending on the pressure, angle and speed you use. Dry brushing, on the other hand, involves using a brush with very little paint, allowing the canvas to show through. This technique is perfect for creating a weathered, aged look, or for adding depth and dimension to a piece. Finally, there's detailing, which is all about precision. With a fine-tipped brush, artists can add intricate details to bring their work to life. Knowing how to use different strokes can add depth and texture to your paintings. Now that we know about brushes and strokes, how do we apply this knowledge in real-life painting? Imagine standing before a blank canvas, your palette brimming with vibrant colors. You reach out, selecting a flat brush. With this tool, you can create broad strokes, perfect for laying down the background of your painting. You can start by painting a soothing blue sky or a lush green field. Next, you switch to a round brush, its pointed tip ideal for detailing. Perhaps you'd like to add a charming little cottage to the landscape. The round brush is your perfect companion for this task. Then, you pick up a fan brush, a unique tool that can create interesting textures. Why not add a cluster of trees to your painting? The fan brush will give you the perfect leafy texture. With practice, you can master the use of different brushes and strokes to create your own masterpieces. So, we've learned quite a bit about painting brushes and strokes today. We've delved into the world of painting brushes, understanding that each type, be it flat, round, fan or filbert, offers unique possibilities. The brush you wield can add depth, texture and personality to your artwork, so choosing the right one is crucial. We've also explored the diverse range of strokes. From the broad and sweeping to the fine and detailed, each stroke tells a story, creating a rhythm on the canvas. Remember the dab, flick, stipple or scumble are not just strokes they're your tools for expression but the most exciting part applying these brushes and strokes in practice we've seen how a simple flower or tree can transform into a captivating piece of art with the right brush and stroke remember understanding brushes and strokes is just the beginning the real magic happens when you start experimenting and creating your own style happy painting